Welcome back, everybody. Today we're headed out to meet Taylor again, and uh, he's invited us over to one of his spots, and he's found some silver coins and some colonial relics, so I am very excited, um, and I think it's going to be a good day. I'll see you guys when we get there. We did it. First silver, 2022. It's a mercury dime. 1943, it looks like. Let me try to focus that for you. You get it on a dark backdrop. There it is, everybody. Mercury dime, let's see if it has a... Nope. 43, Philadelphia. Well, that was deep and loud. Let's hope there are more. Well, Taylor just got something pretty cool. There it is, it's a ornate sash buckle. See it has maybe a floral pattern on it. That's pretty cool. It's about a foot down. So I was like, it's gonna be colonial, but it wasn't, so oh well. <laughs> well, that's probably 1880s, 1870s. Yeah, it could be. All right, sounds good. All right, Taylor's got something in his hole. He thinks it's pretty good. I think we've got a pin here. You can see it stuck right in the side. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, that's really nice. Boston Med Flight. Oh, it's a helicopter. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's not terribly old, but it's still a pretty cool looking relic. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think I just lost a pin there. That's the back of the pin. A little tiny thing. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. Not a, wheat, not, not a uh, modern penny. <laughs> Nope, <laughs> that's a good thing. Well, you gotta dig those penny signals. I just pulled this out. I'm gonna have a silver ring. My hands are cold, so it's kind of hard to hold it, but I don't know. I'll get a better shot for you when it's all cleaned up. Well, not even a few steps from my ring. I see a silver coin right there. Let's see what it is. It's a dime. Oh, that's gonna be an old one. That might be a barber. Is it? Oh, it's a rosy, never mind. It's a rosy, but you know what? It's silver, and silver's always nice to find. And my fingers are so cold they can't move. There it goes. Well, a nice, nice silver rosy to go with my silver Merc. Just pulled this out of the hole, and Looks like a copper ring. Could be new, could be old. Oh, there's a design on it actually. It's pretty small, but I don't know. It's a cool find. It's always nice to find a ring. Well, here's something special. Um, it's a skeleton key. It's a thick one. Well, I should really say it's a bit key. A skeleton key is kind of like a master key if I understand correctly, but this is a nice one. It's got a weird patina on it. Uh, maybe in different ground it would be it would be green, but Taylor says since this ground's super wet, things don't patina the same. So, found that on my way back to my truck, and I think I'm gonna wrap it up for a day because it's getting cold and the sun's gone down. Cool. Here's an unfortunate find. Uh, looks like looks like it's out anyway. So, hopefully nobody needed it. <laughs> Strange. All right. Got to find some good stuff now. Here's what I just found. Not quite sure what it is. Oh, it's got wood at the back, so it looks like maybe it was mounted to something. But it, I, I don't know. This is just a guess, but maybe a telegraph machine. Look, it bounces up and down like that, and uh, I don't know. It's weird. Please let me know. I have no idea what this is. It's old. That's what I know. Well, I normally don't record Wheaties, but huh, I found these two stuck together. You can see where they were stuck together, the green. And because they were stuck together, this one's in pretty good condition. Uh, I'll put those right there just to see if there's anything else in this hole. It looks like there might be. Maybe we have another coin in here. See if we can do this live. Oh, there it is. Is it another weedy? 
Uh, yep, sure is. There's three Wheaties. And it looks like there's even more in there. Let me move these right to there. Huh. Uh, do some hand digging. See if we got any out. No, there's something deep here. Uh, I'll prop my camera up and get this. All right, let's try to get this out. Hopefully it is something good. It's deeper than the rest of them were. Oh, it's still saying it's down there. It's getting a little harder to see. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. This might just be trash. It was just trash, but here are three Wheaties. It's a three Wheaties spill. Pretty cool, actually. Let's see if we can get a three silver spill. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so Taylor's got some, some silver. Finally got some hole. silver. We've been working for it pretty hard. Nothing so exciting, but hey, it's a, uh, it's a rosy. Can you see a date? Was that 46, 1946? First year, Rosie, almost a uh, mark. Any I mint? See a mint mark? No, nope, but that's that's a nice one. It's an old yeah. old Rosie. All right, finally got one today. All right, let's Hopefully get another. Hopefully, it's not the last for us. Yep. Well, here we are again at the finds table. So let's go over what we found. We found some cool stuff. Uh, we'll start right here. I didn't video this, but. It says warranted superior. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was new. Um, it's a medallion to a uh, handsaw. And uh, this one dates about 1900, I think. And this, I did figure out what this was. Um, I think it's called a buzz box. It's part of the ignition system on a Model T Ford. So definitely old and still pretty cool. Not as cool as a telegraph, but <laughs> it's it's old. Here's that copper ring. Can't tell if it's old or not. There's that design on it. It looks old, but then again, it could be could be modern. Silver ring. I reshaped it, and there's a better look at the design on it. There you can see 925 on the inside. Uh, this one I looked up, and what I could find was about 1960. So. That ring, I believe, is from the 60s. This is something I'm super excited about. Um, this is a railroad key. So uh, I believe these were used for the, uh, you know, the signals and stuff for switching the signals on the railroad and other things. It just has that number on it. I don't know what that is. I don't know if this is a blank or not. And uh, this is called a barrel key. This is not a bit key. Uh, bit keys, I think, would be solid instead of hollow like this. So this is a barrel key, probably turn of the century. Here's that button. I don't know if I recorded this. Um, it's just a two piece, nothing fancy on it. Uh, Taylor thinks it's turn of the century. All right, right down here, we had 13 wheat pennies um, with some better examples, such as this one, if I can get a focus on it. So, more on track of what we usually find, other than our single wheat penny we found last week. Now, here are the two silvers right here. This one is looking really nice, this mercury dime. They always look really nice. A 1943, and I don't believe this one had a mint mark. Nope, not that I see. Uh, very nice condition. That, that's an exciting one. I love the mercury dimes. And <laughs> in worse condition, Here's that silver Roosevelt dime. Um, I don't know why they get the crust on them like that sometimes. It just, it doesn't come off. Uh, what's the date on this one? 49, I think. Yeah, 1949. So very cool. Also, I don't know if I told you, Taylor found a crusty uh, nickel. He thought it was old and he took it home, cleaned it up, and it was a buffalo nickel, so that's cool. So I think... We might go back there again with Taylor. 
Uh, I think there's still some stuff to find. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Uh, it's snowy outside. We got more snow since I recorded the last video, so I don't know how long it's going to be. Hopefully not more than a week, but I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.